It wasn't that long ago that Arizona was one of the worst places to be a homeless pet. We knew we had to transform our approach for pets here in our community so that less were coming into shelters and more were getting adopted out. We implemented a variety of innovative programs for newborn kittens, pregnant and nursing moms, and puppies and dogs affected by the horrific parvovirus, just to name a few. In doing so, we have been able to save an additional 130,000 lives in the last eight years, just like little Willow here. <laughs> this is possible because of the vision and dedication of some of our most steadfast supporters, our Legacy Circle members. They're animal lovers, just like you, who want to create a lasting legacy by giving back to a cause they're passionate about and continue their giving ways long after they're gone. We are so grateful for our Legacy Circle members because we rely on donations to do our life-saving work, and their estate gifts make up nearly one-third of our annual budget. One great benefit to being a Legacy Circle member is you can choose to enroll your pets in our continuing care program and never have to ask again what will happen to your pet should something happen to you first. This program gives pet owners peace of mind knowing that when they pass, we will care for their pet, take care of any medical needs, and provide a safe place to stay in the home of one of our foster heroes until a permanent, loving home is found. <laughs> Pets like Mitzi, whose owner sadly passed away, and since Mitzi's owner was in our legacy circle and enrolled in our continuing care program, we provided Mitzi with a loving, temporary place to stay until our adoption matchmakers found her the perfect new home. We understand that estate planning can be a confusing and emotional process, so let us introduce you to an estate attorney who can simplify and explain how you can add the Arizona Humane Society to your estate plans. My name is Andrea Klaus. I'm an estate planning attorney. I chair the Plans Giving Committee for the Arizona Humane Society, and I'm also a Legacy Circle member. I'm here today to talk with you about the ways that you can benefit the Arizona Humane Society through being a part of our Legacy Circle and including the Humane Society in your estate planning. Being a Legacy Circle member myself, I can tell you that the agency's commitment to innovation, compassion, and excellence is unparalleled. I have first-hand knowledge through my adoption experience and through my service on the Board of Directors. First, we're going to talk about wills versus trusts as estate planning tools. So a will is something that becomes effective on your passing. It directs where your assets are going to go after you pass. The benefit of having a will in place is that you're able to direct where things go. If you don't have a will in place at the time of your passing, that's called a dying intestate, which is the fancy legal way of saying you don't have any estate planning documents in place. And if you don't have documents in place, the intestate statutes control where things go. So the benefit of having a will in place is that you are controlling where things go after you pass, you're, in, you're controlling who is in charge of your estate uh, for distribution purposes. An alternative to a will is a trust. And a trust is a separate legal entity that holds assets both during your life and after your death. Uh, the difference between a will and a trust, the very basic difference, is that uh, with a trust controlling your assets after you pass, your estate will not go through probate. And the way that a trust avoids probate is you retitle your assets into the trust during your lifetime. The trust controls where things go after you pass. With either of those documents as a planning tool, you're able to designate uh, whatever individuals or entities that you'd like to receive assets after your death. In both a will and a trust, you can designate the Arizona Humane Society to receive a portion of your estate. You can do this through designating a specific dollar amount, a percentage of the overall estate, or designating the Arizona Humane Society as the residue or remainder of your estate. 
An alternative way to plan your estate is through use of POD designations or payable on death designations. A payable on death designation is an arrangement between a bank or a credit union and the account owner. The account owner fills out a beneficiary designation form and after the account owner's passing, whomever or whichever entity has been named is entitled to collect the account. A pay on death designation is a simple way to avoid probate. It's important to note that a pay on death designation trumps any designation within a will. In Arizona, you can leave a gift of real estate through a will, trust, or beneficiary deed. A beneficiary deed is a simple non-probate transfer that doesn't result in any gift tax liability. A beneficiary deed can be uh, changed at any point in time during the donor's life. Arizona Humane Society graciously accepts gifts of real estate and also of vehicles through wills, trusts, or beneficiary designations. You can name a charity to receive the remainder of your retirement assets and can even split your retirement assets between heirs and a charity. The benefit of naming a charity as a beneficiary of a retirement asset is that the charity does not pay income tax and has the benefit of receiving the entire gift. I know this is a lot of complex information to digest. The planned giving professionals at Arizona Humane Society stand ready to answer your questions. You can reach out to agency staff with your questions and also request a copy of my top 10 mistakes in estate planning and how to avoid them. I hope you will consider joining me as a Legacy Circle member and benefit Arizona Humane Society and its commitment to animal welfare through innovation, compassion, and excellence. Legacy Circle gifts are so special because they truly ensure the future of Arizona's pets. The Arizona Humane Society and our mission to save the most vulnerable animals and enrich the lives of pets and people. We're honored that you are considering making a legacy gift to the Arizona Humane Society. In doing so, please be sure to consult with your attorney or financial planner before making this or any charitable donation and know that we are here to help and would love to hear from you. Our team of planned giving professionals are always available for any questions or to help connect you to expert attorneys like Andrea, financial planners and tax advisors in the field. Thank you for joining us and helping make the future for Arizona pets like Mr. Gray even brighter.